right, that as far as the deal between Microsoft and labor unions in the US are concerned. Meanwhile, get ready for a sweet twist this holiday season as confectioners are pivoting their focus away from toys and towards chocolates, aiming for a bumper Christmas sale season. What are we talking about? This special report tells you all about it. Shoppers around the world look to be buying cheaper gifts this holiday season. Hit by a high cost of living, many are now cash strapped and figures from the UK suggest the taste for lower cost presents is proving a boon to chocolatiers. Quality street maker Nestle and Cabri owner Mondelez have both seen higher sales in Britain. Business executives say many consumers have ignored toys and gadgets in favour of chocolate, which are still relatively inexpensive despite price rises this year. Nestle said box chocolates have seen a year-on-year -year rise of 8.7% in value sales over August to November. The company said shoppers typically spend under £10 or $13 on such items. Tins of Nestle's Quality Street traded around $6.30 while Mondelez's Cadbury selection boxes cost less than $2. Both are proving popular. In contrast, one leading data firm says the average selling price of a toy in Europe is about $16.30. A number of toy makers told Reuters earlier this month that demand was lower this year. The UK supermarkets have also helped out chocolate companies. Sainsbury's and Tesco have offered discounts on big brands to customers with loyalty cards. One leading survey said 9 out of 10 British Gen Z shoppers will trade down to cheaper products this holiday season, while 83% of millennial shoppers will do the same. Overall, almost three quarters of respondents said they would buy cheaper gifts.